Hello everyone. Did you ever notice computers, laptops, tablets and smartphones are typically associated with efficiency and speed? Unfortunately, that's not always the case. Sometimes you notice that your device performance is degraded or maybe suspicious programs are running in the background. Okay, so what's usually behind these issues? Well, honestly speaking, such behavior could be caused by bloatware. That is the topic of today's video. Bloatware is common, yet irritating for tech users. It's also known as potentially unwanted program. It's basically software that slows down your devices. To put it simply, bloatware comes pre-installed on your devices but is not used and still takes up plenty of space, memory and battery life. For example, when you buy a new device, you expect it to be clean and lean, start up fast and speed through your work. But if that were only the case, the truth is, when you open your device, you find so many programs that are already installed by the manufacturer. You don't even need them. Because of them, your device starts off slower, clogged with unnecessary preloaded programs, known as bloatware. They do more harm than good. Rather than being helpful, end up being a headache for tech users. Okay, so the question is, why do they install it? The answer is very straightforward, to make money. Bloatware developers pay to device manufacturer to promote their software. Manufacturers install bloatware as a kind of wishful thinking. They hope you will like it, use it and eventually pay for it. Bloatware is hardly useful, annoying at best and harmful at worst. Particularly used as a revenue stream for manufacturers. Lenovo and Samsung are the prime examples of installing bloatware on their devices. I hope you got the basic idea. Let's go more deep into it. It usually hides in the background, so sometimes it's not as easy to detect as we would like. That doesn't mean bloatware is some kind of malware. However, some bloatware downloaded from malicious websites are downloaded unintentionally along with the third-party software could contain malware. Typically, there are two main ways you may end up with bloatware installed on your devices. Pre-installed software. This is the most common and probably the oldest type of bloatware. Manufacturers install certain kinds of software on your devices by default. This is usually done to make more money by offering you additional programs such as security suites, file managers, music apps, or some third-party software you could be interested in. Pre-installed bloatware is mostly harmless and only shows ads, which is annoying, but you might not feel the need to delete it right away. Still, there is also a risk of external threats. Software downloaded from internet. This is considered more dangerous than pre-installed software because some of them are created with the purpose of causing damage to devices. It doesn't mean all downloaded bloatware is dangerous, but the security risk is higher. This bloatware often comes from malicious websites, suspicious links or ads. It can also come along with downloaded programs. This kind of bloatware significantly slows down your device or constantly displays advertisement. However, it could also pave the way to more dangerous attacks like man in the middle attacks, spying, are remotely managing device. Let's talk about the types of bloatware. Trialware. This bloatware is pretty frequent for Windows computers. Imagine a newly bought computer with software already running on it. In this case, installed software needs a license to work, but it comes as a free trial. It stops working once the trial period is finished, while continuing to consume your device's resources. Trialware is not harmful, but can be annoying. The silver lining is that it's not hidden in the device's background, so it is fairly easy to remove. Utilities Manufacturers pre-install several utilities from them and third parties, which add functionality to your device. Some of these utilities are helpful, such as backup, file management, or video editor but you might not use all of them. Remember, it might not be bloatware if you actually use it. 
Third party utilities are usually easy to remove. However, you might not be allowed to uninstall any from the manufacturer. Adware It is more likely to get installed on your device by an internet download rather than being pre-installed. It will display constant ads on your web browser, making it not dangerous, but something you will really want to delete. Still, there have been cases in which device manufacturers sold new computers with pre-installed adware. This is an easy type of bloatware to remove, but still preventing adware is always the best choice, rather than going over several daily ads on your browser. Famous examples of bloatware include weather apps, financial apps, game centers, sports apps, navigation apps, health and fitness, messaging, music and video players, toolbars and junk browser extensions, system update and so on. Here is a good advice for you. Regularly check your device so you know when it's time to get rid of bloatware. Bloatware can be removed simply by uninstalling or deleting from the device. However, some of them cannot be erased. You need third-party tools to remove them. Like the PC decrepifier, should I remove it? Adware cleaner, ultra adware killer and so on. The bottom line is, bloatware can eat up a lot of valuable resources while running in your device's background. It cripples performance, consume energy, storage and also brings down battery life. Bloatware clogs your machine and fill your internet browser with ads and in more severe cases lead to security threats. Alright, this wraps up today's video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. See you in the next video.